Hi, I'm Dina, and today I'd like to share my um, sales with you from this past weekend, which was December 31st and January 1st. Um, there's also some sales from uh, Friday night, um, and then I think one sale from Monday morning as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with Poshmark. Okay, first item to go out or to ship is this Bowden dress. It's midi length. It's got these really pretty uh, ribbon rosettes on the front as well as some little pom-poms. Um, it's in a mocha brown color and it's more of like a fit and flare style dress. This one, um, let's see. It, uh, the, the title for, for this item is Bowden Midi Dress Women's 14R Fit and Flare Ribbon Rosettes Brown Turquoise. And it, let's see, it did take a while to sell. So I would say it took about maybe a half a year to sell. And it sold for $24.00. So, yes, it's $24, um, looking at it, I believe that was an offer from a buyer. So I went ahead and accepted, yes. And this dress I picked up, you know, like about half a year ago at my local Goodwill bins. And that day I remember, um, I found, I think I found four Bowden dresses, all size 14, and this, I think this is the last of them to sell. So, you know, that was a really great pickup. Um, Bowden dresses, or Bowden actually, is not something that I find a lot at the bins. So, um, I don't have a lot in my inventory, but when I see it, I go ahead and I pick it up because I think it is a good brand. So, so how is everybody doing? I hope you know everyone had a great holiday. Happy New Year, everyone! Happy 2023. Uh, I'm. I had a really nice holiday. It was pretty chill, you know, didn't go out or, you know, anything like that. Um, but I had, um, my son-in-law's parents were here. So was able to spend some time with them. And that was really nice. They uh, drove here from San Diego where they live. And um, they spent some some time with us, and then they also drove up to Humboldt to go camping. So they have a um, they have a truck, and um, Dave went ahead and um, converted his truck into a camper, um, which is really cool. So they went to Humboldt for a couple of days, went camping, and then came back. Um, so it was really a nice visit with them. Next item is this Prana sweater. It's got this really nice, um, sort of a, sh almost like a Sherpa or a boucle texture um, panels. And it's you know, two kind of tones of gray, two kinds of textures of knit, and it has a mock neck, and it also actually has uh, pockets in the front. Title is Prana Women's Lockwood Sweater Small S Wool Blend Charcoal Gray Pullover. Um, this one took about a month to sell. And I actually um, received an offer from buyer uh, for $17. And I went ahead and accepted. Um, 
I I was thinking if I should counter on counter on this item um, but then I thought you know I am having a slow weekend so I'm gonna go ahead and just accept this offer so you know I think um, this is a really nice sweater and I think the buyer got a really good deal and I hope you know that they love it so this feels nice and substantial let's see I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here so yes yeah, so if anyone's new um, to my videos I learned how to ship by watching um, Mackenzie at McDrifty and she uses this packing paper to wrap her items and she also orders USPS um, shipping supplies on the USPS.com website and I will link one of her videos below as well as the USPS.com um, website too. So, I started reselling um, over a year ago, um, I think in August of 2023, that'll be two years for me as a reseller. So, uh, before that, you know, I had not been familiar with shipping, especially. So, you know, I watched a lot of Mackenzie's videos and I learned a lot from her, not only about shipping, but also, you know, um, especially about items, picking up items, um, you know, so sourcing. So, she has a lot of reselling knowledge, um, as well as she's just a really sweet person and, you know, loved having her keep me company while I was, you know, working on my reselling, so. There, okay. So, next we have a bundle sale. Um, this is a really, um, I'm very happy with this bundle sale because um, the buyer picked up three really pretty dresses and um, some of them are, you know, some of my older inventory. So, you know, very happy that these sold, these three dresses sold. The first one is this Tahari um, wrap dress in this really pretty pattern. Um, it's probably a knee to midi length and sort of silky, soft flowy kind of um, material. Um, let's see, the title for this one is Tahari Women's Wrap Dress, size eight, knee length, blue, purple stripes, jersey knit. It took, okay, so what I did with this one was I relisted this one. And so when I relist it, it almost like makes it a, a new listing. Um, so, see uh, it sold for $16 and so what I think I yeah so each of the dresses I kind of divided it by three so you know they each sold I think they each sold for 16 and then the next dress is this one it's a Corey Lynn Coulter women's midi dress small S sleeveless boho blue cream. 
So this is another really pretty dress that I've had for a while. Um, really lovely dress. And it has kind of almost like this chenille um, detail in the stripes. So again, this one was 16. And then finally, we have this Lauren Ralph Lauren dress, women's size eight fit and flare, purple floral knee length dress. And this is another one, I think that I, no, I didn't, I did not relist this one. Um, this one took, it took about five months to sell. And so yeah, I think it was on the list to um, relist. I was going to relist it, but um, the buyer went ahead and purchased this. So this is another really lovely dress and I actually tried it on and it has a really nice uh, flattering fit. So anyways, very happy with this sale. So I'm gonna put it in the um, priority mail box. Um, I'm just thinking of the best way to wrap this. Hmm. I think I'll wrap the two so No, I'll wrap this and this together. So if anybody watches uh, Mackenzie's, uh, McThrifty's videos, um, you guys, I mean, we all know that she is the queen of bundles, <laughs> bundle sales. Um, and I don't get a lot of bundle sales. Um, But I'm really happy when I do get a bundle sale. So, you know, it's nice to, um, I mean, it's a great deal for the, the buyer as well. So I'm gonna do that, I think. I think I'm gonna do, I could wrap all three together. Maybe I'll do that, maybe I'll wrap all three. Yeah, this, um, the two sort of jersey knit dresses are so soft, it's a little bit hard to fold. But the nice thing with Nergy, Ner, uh, the nice thing about jersey knits are they don't really wrinkle. So, yeah, that's good. It makes more sense. So, is everyone excited about the new year? I'm, I'm excited. I, I always love, you know, the new year, the, the idea of a fresh start or a restart. Um, I like, I don't know. Yeah, I just like the idea of a restart. And, um, I don't have any huge res resolutions or anything like that. Um, and I haven't really set myself any goals in particular. I think I've been pretty happy with um, 2022. I think it was a a pretty good year for me. I learned a lot and it was also kind of a year that I really wanted to, you know, try things and experiment and be okay if I failed. Um, 
because I think we learn a lot from our failures, you know? So, and it's not even like failures, it's just, you know, maybe doing things a certain way and then realizing, hey, maybe if I tweak it a little bit, um, you know, I might be more successful. Or also, it could just be being flexible flexible and being able to pivot a little bit, you know, and um, so it's not even really like failing or totally doing something new. Um, I don't know. I, I hope that kind of makes sense. So, um, oh, so the next item is this really uh, lovely vintage cardigan, long cardigan sweater in an ivory color. Um, it has these little pom-poms on it and sort of um, also some snowflake knit details, like a pattern. So this is a really nice 100% wool long cardigan with a zipper front. And this one uh, title is Vintage Women's 100% Wool Long Cardigan Sweater, Size 8, Ivory Full Zip Snowflakes. And it took about two weeks to sell. Um, and it sold for my full asking price of $32. So this, in my book, is a great sale for me. And... After a viewer, Colleen, hi Colleen, had asked, you know, Dana, what do you, how do you determine what's a great sale versus a good sale? I had to kind of, you know, come up with some parameters and, you know, thinking that, you know, if I have a um, $30 or over sale that's, you know, in a month or less, less it's a great sale. But then that's kind of a starting point. Um, and then anything under that would be a good sale. But I think if I were to get like a higher dollar amount, um, let me see if that's gonna, yeah. Higher dollar amount and it takes, you know, longer, I think it would, you know, be categorized as a great sale. So, <laughs> but, it was kind of helpful to think that because what I can do with that information, not only just talking about it, you know, during a video, but also when I source, you know, I can be really mindful about what I pick up, you know, because I really am trying to source for, you know, $30 and up items when I go to the bins and you know there's there's not as many of those items available when I where I source um, so that kind of brings me to you know what I'm thinking about doing for this year and I think what I have to um, think about is what, how am I going to get more of those items? And so that really does mean that I think I'm gonna need to go more than twice a, a week. I might need to go to the bins maybe three times a week and you know, um, try to be really selective. Um, and then, you know, also I, I will pick up items that are a lower ASP. Um, but they have to be something that I think, um, that have a really, really high sell through rate. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Um, so, you know, can I, can I sort of stick to that and be selective? Um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to try that and see how that goes. And the other thing that I'm trying, you know, for 2023 is 
as of now, I'm not going to... I'm not going to up my listing goal, um, which is which is interesting because I know I probably mentioned uh, you know oh I need to look my you know up my listing goal. Um, I did do it um, up to seven per day for a little while. I don't know, maybe like a month or maybe a month or two, and I realized that for me, what's really important is that I need to get my processes down really tight. And also, I really, really need to have a draft bank. And I, I want to have a draft bank of two weeks or more of, um, you know, listings. So I'm back down to five a day until I can get my processes a lot tighter, until I grow my draft bank. And then I think, um, then I can think about, you know, upping my listing. So I, I'm going to do more like a baby step approach because, uh, I don't know, I guess it's just better for me that way. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So <laughs> anyways, um, so that was my Poshmark sales. And um, I wanted to take a moment just to um, thank all the subscribers and the people who have been liking the videos. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you all. And then also, I'd like to um, mention some of the comments from the last ship, sold to shipped video, which was uh, sold to ship 49. And hi, Susanna. Hi, how are you? It's so good to hear from you. Yes. Uh, Susanna says, Hi, Dana. Hi from Mexico. Oh, hello. Hola. Um, I loved your video. Ah, hola, amiga. So good to hear from you. And um, I hope you're having a wonderful time in Mexico. And I'm assuming that you're visiting some family and friends. Um, and it was so great to hear from you. So happy holidays. Happy New Year. And um, hope to hear from you soon again. Hi, Gloria. So good to hear from you. Okay, uh, Gloria wrote, Hi, Dana. I'm wishing you the best of a very good year. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. And your selling business keeps going great. Oh, Gloria, thank you for this awesome, awesome comment. And, you know, I love hearing from you. I hope you have a really great 2023 too and um, hope your business is you know going really great as well okay thanks so much i appreciate you oh hi penny dig how are you doing thank you so much for this comment uh penny dig says hello i watched you pack my bathing suit this afternoon kind of fun seeing it before it arrived oh that's so cool um thank you so much for purchasing that really beautiful swimsuit it was the red one i can't remember the brand it was a new brand to me but um really you know a really lovely swimsuit um so thank you so much uh i really enjoy your videos and have learned a lot wow oh thank you so much penny dig it was you know this comment is awesome it really um, motivates and inspires me so um, you know I love I love hearing from you so you know I really really appreciate you and happy new year hi material girl also known as Jen how are you doing um, so Jen says hi Dana just got back from vacation. I was in Cancun with my family and closest, and my closest something. Oh, I think something got cut off. Um, uh, was turned off, but I'm back and ready to go. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that your stores were turned off, um, but you're back and ready to go. Wow. So. First of all, I hope you had an awesome time in Cancun. It must have been so beautiful. Um, I haven't been to Cancun before, but I've been to a couple of places 
in Mexico oh, a long time ago and I just remember the beaches are gorgeous just the sand is that really fine you know almost like white sand and the water is super super warm and turquoise blue so I hope you had a great time Jen and I hope you really enjoyed taking a break away from you know reselling too <laughs> um, which I think you know is really helpful for for um, for us um, I know it's helpful for me uh, let's see love to see you pack up your goodies uh, while I clean some shoes. Oh great. I'm so glad we were working together Great sales again. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. See you next time Jen. Yes So Jen, thank you so much. I had a great holiday. Thanks for you know um, asking and I hope you had a wonderful holidays as well. So um, Definitely, I'll see you the next next time and you know, hope you're doing well and happy new year. Hi, Maria Felicity. So good to hear from you. Uh, Maria Felicity says, Hi, Dana. You had some great sales. Thank you. Catching up on your uploads and YouTube. Had some setbacks with my health, but grateful to be getting better again. Oh, so Maria Felicity, I'm so glad that you're getting better again. And I'm so sorry that you had the setbacks. Um, but, you know, it's this time of year, there's so many things, you know, so many bugs going around. And, um, you know, I know that, you know, it's not only COVID, but it's also the flu and cold. So, um, yeah, so I hope that, um, you know, you get better soon. Let's see. Hopefully I'll be able to start Poshmark again soon. Oh, yeah, that would be great. I'm so bored not being able to do much, but your uploads bring a bright light into my days. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. That's the sweetest thing to say. Thank you for being authentic and you. Oh my gosh. Oh, Maria Felicity, thank you so much. I love, I love hearing from you and um, you know, your uh, comment is really motivating and inspiring and um, you know, it's so great to hear from you. Um, just take your time, you know, and try to, um, I know it can be boring, but, <laughs> but on the other hand, you know, take your time. And um, I think I mentioned in the comment, I think it would be really fun if you could like um, start re researching what the, the latest new bolos are, you know, especially on Poshmark, if that's your primor prim primary um, platform um, so that might be kind of fun to fill in some time and anyways um, yes but definitely let let us all know you know when you're back at it again and you know you're out there sourcing again you know would love to hear what you start picking up again and thank you so much for your comment Maria Felicity and happy new year Hi, Agata. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, thank you so much for the, your comment. So Agata meant, says, um, so Agata says, hi, Dana, watching you from Poland. Oh, that's so oh, awesome. I like your videos a lot and I like your sense of style. You are always wearing nice pieces and you choose beautiful colors. It's a pleasure to watch you and clothes you pick up. Oh, thank you. They are so unbelievably clean and I love your hair as well. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Forgive my English, by the way. I'm still learning. Um, your English is perfect. Yeah, your English is better than mine. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Agata. Um, yeah, that's funny because I never really thought of, um, well, I don't know. What I wear in, in the videos is not exactly super stylish, but I guess I have my own, I guess we all have our own sense of style, right? And, um, you know, especially since I work from home, I really put comfort way up there. 
Um, so yeah, so I, you know, thank you so much. I really appreciate this, you know, awesome, lovely comment and I really appreciate you. Um, oh, you know what? I think, I think there's another, I think you answered my comment. Um, so let me see. I think I asked, I think I asked how thrifting was and reselling is in Poland. And so Agata said, reselling is getting much more popular in Poland, but we have no bins <laughs> and goodwills at all. Your halls are always full of great items. I would love to purchase some of them, but I have no access to Poshmark or whatnot. Anyways, I love to watch your treasures and your stylish outfits. Oh, thank you. You are such a nice person. And oh, and it's very calming to watch you working. <laughs> oh, thank you, Agata. Can't wait for your next bins pickups. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so, um, so yes, I think that's really interesting that, you know, uh, reselling is getting more popular in Poland. And I'm assuming um, since you have no bins or goodwills, you must have um, some charity shops or, or something that you like to you know, go thrifting. Um, and I can just imagine in Poland, you must pick up some really, really awesome items. Um, and let's see, I, I, oh, you know, you, my next bins pickups. Yes. Um, so I have not done a haul in quite a while, a haul video. And, um, you know, I've been kind of thinking that I, I wanted to, you know, focus on the holidays for these last, you know, few weeks. And so I'm probably, you know, going to pick up on, you know, doing some thrift hauls eventually. But I've kind of gotten into this pattern of after I get, I go to the, the bins and I have my haul, I go directly to the laundry room. And that's where I sort. And I just instantly just wash everything, you know? Um, or wash the things that I can wash. So um, that's kind of been my new system. So um, we'll see how it goes, you know, once I start integrating thrift hauls in again and seeing, you know, do I go ahead and wash everything, go straight to the laundry room and wash, or do I film it and then, you know, so we'll see. But one thing about when I do film haul videos is I like to film them in the living room, but then that means that the living room is kind of messy for a while. So that's the part I don't really like, you know, since um, it's more of a shared space. And I think I could try to do maybe, I don't know, so we'll see. That's TBD. <laughs> Anyways, yes. Agata, thank you so much for your wonderful comments. I really, really appreciate you and happy new year and hope to hear about, you know, what you're picking up at your thrift shops too. And, um, yes. So thank you everyone for your awesome, awesome comments. And, you know, I really love reading them all and I really appreciate you all. Okay. So I'm going to go through, uh, eBay now. eBay sales. So I think I can go ahead and put this one away and then bring up my spreadsheet. Um, oh, okay. So actually, I'm. this is a sale and I have a question out to the, um, the buyer. So I'm not going to sh ship this yet, but um, it's this really great Nike track jacket. Um, it's. I don't know, it's in really great condition. Um, logo is nice and crisp. Every, you know, it's nice and clean. I think this is a really great track jacket. It kind of has a retro feel to it, but I don't, I don't think it's uh, vintage. Anyways, I'm gonna set this aside until after I hear back um, and it's mainly about a question about the shipping address. So, I'll put this on the side. 
Okay. Uh, okay. So this item I'm going to go ahead and ship out. Oh, I forgot to mention. So the track jacket, uh, Nike track jacket, uh, title was Nike men's track jacket, extra large XL, red, white, logo stripe, full zip, 90s. And it took about a, one month to sell. And it sold for $19. Um, and it also, the buyer used um, my public coupon of 20% off. So that was a, you know, a nice sale. Okay, and then the next, uh, I'm just going to try to see if I can pull this down a little bit. Um, the next item is this one times one teaspoon sort of Daisy Dukes cut off denim shorts. I mean, these are like the most um, tiniest pair of short <laughs> denim shorts that I've that I've come across. Um, so this one is titled one times one teaspoon free people jean shorts women's 27 distressed light wash this one took uh, a long time to sell so i think um back in july i picked these up back in july of 2022 and they sold um on the 31st and i received an offer from the buyer for 26 dollars 25 so i went ahead and accepted that and it was an organic search sale. So, um, very happy about this sale. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is going out to uh, Los Angeles, West Hollywood. So, I think it's a little warmer there. <laughs> we, you know, I'm in. Um, Northern California and it's been pretty chilly for us and it's uh, actually we've been having a lot of rain which is great for you know Northern California um, you know pretty much all of California needs rain so happy about that but it's been cold wet and rainy Um, and you know we'll see when it starts to warm up again <laughs> okay so this is eBay I'm gonna move my stickers up here these shorts um, I actually have quite a few denim shorts um, still in my inventory, so it's not something that I'm really looking for right now. Uh, next item is this Britney Spears t-shirt, and it's actually new with tags here. Um, this is a great size. Um, the brand is, is Britney Spears. Um, it says S and M, so small, medium, but it actually has um, a measurement of 22 inches, which is, I think is like a large, um, you know, 22 inches uh, flat leg. Um, great t-shirt. I love this um, photograph of Britney Spears back when she had the boa constrictor. And just really classic Britney. Let's see, I can do this. This one actually, oh, um, which this is the first time this happened to me, but it sold on, you know, both platforms. And um, so, I woke up to 
than, you know, it being double sold, which, you know, I really, you know, don't like. <laughs> Wish that didn't happen. Um, but, you know, I kind of felt like, oh, you know, it was, it's kind of bound to happen, I think, you know, one of these days. And I've been really, really trying, and this is kind of, maybe this is a New Year's resolution, is really trying to remove um, the item when it sells on the other platform, you know, kind of like as soon as I can. So, so anyways, this was, you know, sad. So I had to, um, you know, cancel the sale on uh, Poshmark. Which, you know, I never like to do, but, you know, that's, I guess that's one of the perils of cross-listing, right? So, uh, this one is titled Britney Spears T-shirt Men's Small, Medium, Black Boa Snake, I'm a Slave for You, New. And this one sold in two days. Um... And it sold for my asking price of twenty-four dollars. So you know this is a very is this a very good sale. Uh, happy to to uh, have this quick flip and for you know a good amount. So that was a good one. Uh, okay. Okay, so this one, next uh, dress, or next item is a dress. <laughs> and it is titled Anthropology Women's Corey Lynn Coulter Midi Dress Extra or X, XS Pink Mid Century Modern. And I think I said mid-century modern because of the pattern. Um, but it's this really beautiful dress. And I don't know if you can... It has kind of an unusual um, top part where it has a ruffle that goes across, all the way across um, the shoulders too. But very pretty dress. And this one was actually... Um, my mail carrier, Parm, she gave me a bunch of, uh, a bunch of her things that she was, you know, going to go ahead and donate. Uh, so this is really nice. And so this one took a little while to sell. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Okay, so it says it took two weeks to sell because this was actually a relist. So I relisted it, and then after I relisted it, it took two weeks. So, you know, the relist does work sometimes, and I think the trick to that is to really evaluate your item, you know. Um, you know, look at it, say, oh, gee, why is this, why didn't this sell, you know, quicker? And why is it taking so long? Um, you know, do I need to drop the price? Do I need to add photos or retake photos? Did I um, misspell something in the title? I, I've done that before, and I noticed once I fixed the title spelling, um, the item sold. So, you know, it, it really is good to revisit your listings and take a look and see why isn't it moving. So, you know, did that with this dress and, you know, it did sell. So, you know, that was great. I think that's, again, you know, that's part of me, um, taking things slow and, you know, making sure that the health of my stores, my store and closet are good. Um, not trying to just throw in items that are not very good that are going to sit. You know, I want to 
have items that are very desirable that people are really looking for that they want to buy I and mean, that's that's I, th I think that's the most important thing I've gotten to the I got my cost of goods down you know I, I shop at at the bin so what I pick up is is low you know cheap so that's good um, it's harder to find, you know, high ASP items at the bins. They're not as plentiful, but you know, that I'm I'm willing I'm willing to deal with that by maybe you know adding another source day um, to my um, sourcing rotation. So. Okay, so next item. So I saw this at the bins and I was like, what? <laughs> I was sort of confused by this item, but you know, it, it had a really good feeling, like the material feels really good. And then I looked at the label and it's Everlane. Um, but I'm like, what? what is this little, you know, shirt? At first I thought it was a child's shirt, but then I realized um, that it's actually a rash guard. So w once I realized it was a rash guard, I thought this is a really kind of awesome little um, garment here because can't you see, you know, it's cropped. So I can really see, you know, I don't know, it's real surfer girl looking, right? With, um, I don't know, a little bit of the tummy showing with, you know, some briefs or, um, I don't know, even, even some surf shorts. Anyways, uh, and it has this really fun long pull in the back so that it's easy for, you know, the person to go ahead and get in and out of this uh, rash guard. So, really nice. So, let's see what this one. Uh, title is Everlane Women's Long Sleeve Rash Guard Top Small black cropped mock neck zipper and it took two days to sell and um, it sold for $18 so to me you know I'm really happy with this sale happy that I picked it up I when I'm at the bins um, you know we have to be a little bit faster um, with our making a decision because um, we have to leave every time they do a rotation and they do a rotation every let's say 30 minutes 30 to 45 minutes so sometimes the rotations are coming so fast that I don't have time to look up comps so for this piece I thought, you know, Everlane is a good brand and I thought, you know, let me, it was in good condition. I didn't know it was a rash guard. I just thought it was this, you know, weird little stretchy top, but then I thought maybe it has something to do with um, fitness. Um, so I just, you know, took a chance with it and it was so lightweight. It's very lightweight. So it really, you know, didn't cost much at all. You know, maybe it might have cost a dollar or something. Um, because my uh, Goodwill binge charges $1.79 per pound. Okay, so let's do this. So nice little sale. And hopefully the buyer loves this item. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this one next. Okay, so this item. Wait, I'm going to throw this away first. 
Okay. So this item is um, Nike sweatpants. And these are so, so plush. They're very plush, super soft uh, fleece. Just really a comfy, cozy, um, soft, warm pair of sweatpants. And they are more the, you know, straight leg style. They are also, uh, I think they're a really good size too. Let's see. Okay, so uh, title for this is Nike Men's Sweatpants um, XXL Gray Fleece Straight Leg Active Wear Workout. Um, it's sold with the public coupon. And so it's sold for $22. And he, let's see. I. I don't know how long it took, but I'm gonna guess that it took maybe about uh, two months to sell. So, this is a nice sale. I'm happy to pick up um, sweatpants. And, uh, you know, whether they're sweatpants or joggers or track pants, um, from the bins. And I'll focus on I'll focus on Nike and Adidas um, for you know sweatpants. I will yeah, those are the main ones. I'll, I will consider Under Armour as well. Um, but I no longer pick up Puma. Um, Puma tended to just sit sit and sit for me. So Fila too, even though I love Fila as a brand, it does kind of sit a long time for me. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to really actively be um, picking those brands up. Unless it's like, you know, something really special or something, like a really cool vintage piece or something, you know, then, then definitely uh, I'll pick it up. But. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to do this one. But what's nice about... Um, What's nice about 2022 was my time to kind of experiment and, you know, try different brands and things like that. Um, and, you know, it is a time for me to say, okay, well, if I find a lot of a brand in the bins, I should really be, you know, um, aware of that because it's something that I can find very easily. So that's where, you know, sort of Nike and Adidas come into play because it's pretty it's pretty common to find that at the things for me in my area and also you know I do believe that different bins um, have different kinds of items so it's I find that it's very regional you know sticker on the opening here just for a little extra security. Okay, there. Okie doke. Okay. Um, so next, 
item is this 100% cashmere sweater and it's uh, the brand is called aqua this um, so so soft so really lovely sweater um, it has a hood so it's a hoodie it has even you know some drawstrings and um, even a kangaroo pocket in the front so really lovely sweater and it's a longer sweater so it's almost like tunic length so this one let's see if I can find this on the spreadsheet okay uh, title is aqua women's 100% cashmere sweater small s striped gray black hooded soft pockets um, it took like two weeks to sell and uh, it sold for $23 so this was a nice sale uh, I picked up about four or five probably that day I picked up probably about six cashmere sweaters but I picked up like four of the brand um, Oh wait yeah four of the brand aqua and they all sold so you know really nice uh, pickup and I'm continuing to really try to you know focus and search for uh, cashmere sweaters um, since it's winter let's see I think I can do this so sweater is so soft soft and warm and lightweight easy to layer so really really um, happy that this item sold and hopefully the buyer really loves this sweater able to um, send it out by first class mail and first class mail is figured out you know by weight so as long as it's under a pound um, and then I use a poly mailer uh, to mail it out um, this one is one that I bought off of eBay and um, when I became when I subscribed to be a store um, I was given a $25 coupon by eBay to purchase um, shipping supplies. So I went ahead and, you know, purchased these. So, so it was almost free <laughs> to get those uh, poly mailer bags, which is nice. Okay, let's see. Here. Yes. Let's double check. One, two, three. Okay. Alrighty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see. <coughs> okay, so next item is this really um really nice vest and it is made of sheepskin uh, suede or, or leather I think it's more like a leather and um, the woolen uh, fleece on the inside the Sherpa fleece on the inside just really just a, a really nice piece um, it's patchwork together so 
in this really nice chocolatey brown color. So this one, um, oh gosh, I don't have it on here. Oh yeah, it's called Albert Fashion Men's Shearling Suede Sherpa Fleece Vest Large L Brown Sheepskin. Um, this one is also uh, made in New Zealand. So really nice, awesome, awesome piece. I think I gotta fold it this way. Let's see, this one sold. It took a, a few days to sell. I think it took about uh, five days to sell. And it sold for $30. So this is a great sale for me. And you know, again, I hope that the, the buyer loves this item. I think it's a really nice item. I'm going to go ahead and put it in this, uh, you know, a uh, two gallon uh, Ziploc bag and and it's going to go ship out in um, a Tyvek envelope. So the Tyvek envelopes are waterproof and it also is tear proof. So it's a really great it's a great envelope to ship you know to ship things with but um, I wanted to add the plastic Ziploc bag just for a little bit extra pro uh, protection since it is um, oh see this is this is a Tyvek that's not very sticky. I, I don't know. I, I received I received a batch that's not very sticky of envelopes. So I need to definitely need to reinforce this one. Okay, so uh, this next item is a sweater by Margaret O'Leary, and it's really beautiful uh, wrap sweater, and it has this pointel knit. I don't know if you can see it. It has a pointel knit uh, pattern detail. Uh, Margaret O'Leary, I believe she's. I think she's a San Francisco designer. I know she has, maybe, well, maybe not. I just know that there's a uh, a boutique, a store that she has, and she's really known for knits. Um, so she's really known for knit. And, um, you know, her retail store is quite expensive. Uh, I'm going to need this. So this, this sweater I had for uh, quite a long time. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I did find um, a few Margaret O'Leary sweaters. I don't know, for some reason, for me, I kind of akin it to um, um, something like um, 
Eileen Fisher. So, you know, really uh, good quality, maybe a little bit more of a mature brand. And, um, you know, so basically, you know, high quality. But to me, you know, Margaret O'Leary is not as in high demand as Eileen Fisher because I think it's not as well known. So, you know, it has a smaller, um, I don't know, buyer's base maybe. Um, let's see. I don't know if I have this listed. Do I? No. I did not list a bunch of things on my spreadsheet for some reason, but I have it here, I think. Let's see. Huh. There it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, title is Margaret O'Leary Women's Wrap Sweater Medium Black V-neck Cotton Blend Pointel. And it's sold uh, with uh, promoted listings. And it, uh, it sold for $20. So this one I know I had for a I had this um, sweater for a long time and I relisted it. So, you know, the relisting really does help. It does help sometimes, you know. If you have a desirable item that just didn't sell, you know, take a look at it, fix your, fix your listing and then, you know, relist it, so. That could help. And, you know, that way you're just giving the item that you already have in your inventory, you know, a chance to sell. So, the other thing that I've been doing lately is I don't have much of a death pile. I and I don't even know if it's called a death pile anymore. I don't think it's a death pile because it's just um, waiting to list pile. <laughs> and, you know, it's a smaller amount of items. And I just kind of stack it, you know, so that it's ready to, um, it's in the queue to be listing, to, to list. So, um... That's another thing that I've been doing and that kind of helps me because I'm a person who I don't like too much clutter. Um, too much clutter gives, kind of stresses me out. So I like, um, I like less amount of inventory to be, you know, kind of like in the queue. And, you know, for me that's, that's really helpful. Um, And I love, I love to source. That's the main thing that, you know, I love to do. But I have to be careful in my sourcing because I don't want to build up a death pile. So. That's just, that's just the way I am. I think, you know, everybody has a different tolerance for, you know, um, things. <laughs> Having things. Uh, and I think I mentioned before, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a minimalist. Um, I don't like to have too many, um, too many things. So I think for me, I really love kind of editing things down. So I actually did go through my inventory you know I have my older inventory and went through it and made decision decisions on whether I want to relist some of those things or if I want to just go ahead and um, take it out of my inventory take it to my local buy sell trade stores first and if it doesn't sell there um, in any of those stores, then I would go ahead and donate it. So, 
um, you know, that's my plan. And I would say that I came out with like, you know, one bag full of, um, of items. So, and to me that feels really good. <laughs> I like doing that. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I just realized I think I can slide this in and out, so. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, anyways, this, is this the last one? Oh, second to the last item is this Victoria's Secret slip. And it is in really nice condition. It's very pretty. Has a little lace detail on the top. Also has a little slit and lace detail on the bottom hem. Um, let me see, let me find this. Uh, it's Victoria's Secret Women's Satin Slip XS Black Negligee Chemise Teddy Dress Nighty is the title. And it sold in about a week and it sold for $16. So, um, you know, a very nice sale. And again, you know, saw this at the bins. It weighs like at next to nothing, you know, it probably cost maybe 25 cents or something, you know, it's very, very, very lightweight, um, in nice condition. And, um, for me, um, Victoria's Secret seems to do pretty well for me. So, you know, I'm happy to pick it up. So let me see if I can just slide it back into this. Let's see. It's pretty tiny. Well, let's just do that. So yeah, I will pick up um, Victoria's Secret bras. Um, I'll pick up um, slips and also corsets. Another thing that I like to pick up. <clears throat> Calvin Klein cargo pants. And they even have a belt, matching belt. Um, they're, they have this really great ripstop fabric, which means that they're super, super strong and durable. And um, the size is uh, 32 by 32, which I think is a really great size. <clears throat> so, Nice pants. I saw these at the bins. I don't normally pick up Calvin Klein, but because it's new with tags and in really good condition, um, it's. I think it's a desirable style because it is cargo. Cargo pants are popular right now. I went ahead and you know picked these up. Let's see. That work? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So this one. Hmm. Did I not record this one as well? Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh, I did. It's Calvin Klein men's cargo pants, 32 by 32 beige ripstop canvas belt, new with tags, and it took two months to sell um, and it sold for $16. So this was an organic search sale too. So this is a nice sale. Um, I think Calvin Klein is something that's um, 
sold at like Ross. And Ross is like, you know, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Um, so I think it's not like the, well, put it this way. I think a lot of people know Calvin Klein. And because of that, it can be desirable. It might not go for a high dollar amount, but you know, so that's that's a, a brand that I'm willing to sort of you know take a chance on, as long as you know the style. It has certain factors like the style is really good, um, materials are good, things like that. Then I will pick it up. Um, yeah, and then you know, uh, Calvin Klein. I, I think the quality of, of their items is 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 something that's really good too. So let's see now. I don't know if this is gonna stick. This one seems a little more sticky. I'm gonna put priority sticker on there. Yes. So, I hope everyone has a really, really great 2023. And, you know, um, I look forward to all the possibilities that we have for this coming year. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for joining me in this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe and, you know, hit the like button. And until the next one, um, leave me some comments. I'd love to hear what's selling for you and, you know, what you've been picking up. Okay, until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.